Okay, so this is going to be very simple and easy. I'm going to show you how to make this simple towel rack. Okay, so it's kind of a bit lazy, but yeah, let's begin. And make a new. Okay, so here we are with a basic uh, blender default cube. Let me bring the screencast key on first. All right, so now you, you know what I'm typing. Okay, now you know what I'm clicking. All right, so I'm going to delete this light. Delete, I mean, that is the camera. This is the light. Delete light. Okay, we're not going to use the de uh, default cube, so I'm so sorry. Maybe we can use, but yeah, no need to waste your time. Okay, so I hope all the screencast key on will help you about what I'm clicking, what I'm typing. Okay, so I'm going to start with a simple uh, cylinder. You can start with cylinder or a circle. I began with the cylinder. So uh, there we go, basic shape of the cylinder. Now this is going to be uh, something that uh, attached to the wall. Okay, so going to go face select, press three if you have keyboard. Not on the numpad, okay? Num if you use the numpad, that is fine for the camera, like this, okay? That is a camera, so <laughs> don't be a uh, don't confuse the numpad and the uh, I don't know what key over okay, at top of the W here. Okay, select this one, the top, and scale. GG. I need to bring, I need to make it super fancy or whatsoever. I have to insert, put like that. Alright, so this is my own version. You can do your own version if you want, okay? E to the Z. There we go. Maybe I'm going to bring it a little bit more. A little bit longer. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah, almost perfect. But it's perfect anyway. Okay, so for the bottom here, we don't need we don't need those faces. Okay, so delete those faces because that's just gonna be a, a burden. And this one, well, don't delete it because we're gonna need that. Okay. Now I'm gonna press. Uh, Control B. That is meant for bevel, okay? You sh and you move your mouse around, it should turn like that. Scroll, scroll your mouse, and you got some extra over there, right? So how many you want? It's up to you. There we go. And for this one, I think that's a way too sharp, so I'm gonna add a little bit of brown. Mm-hmm. That would be. Now I'm going to shade smooth this thing. No problem. Okay. So that's so so, but still okay, right? Well, we're done. We're done this one. Press one. R to the X, 90 degree. You should bring something over here, okay? So this is going to the Y to the front. Now, move this around any way you want. I'm just going to go to maybe over here, G to the X. Uh, that way I would do. So, we just have one, but we need two. So, let's mirror this thing. Where's the mirror stuff? There we go. But no, it didn't work that way. I mean, the way that you want. You want this to be mirror to the other side, okay? So, the easiest to do that, you have to set the origin first, okay? Select the object, right click, set the origin to 3D cursor, okay? If it's the geometry, this is the geometry. 3D cursor, that is the 3D cursor. See that the middle there? That's the 3D cursor. 3D cursor, and it should turn like that, okay? So we're done with that one. Now let's make the something that we're going to put the towel on. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, let's just call it Iron Road no whatsoever. Right? Press 1. You can move this around. And the uh, other side also fall as well. But make sure in edit mode, okay? If you're in object mode, it just, well, follow together the same way. Right? So now I'm going to add... Oh, zero one oh, Sorry. I pressed the wrong camera. Wrong view, okay? 
press 1 that's it's a float now so shift a to add i'm gonna use a cylinder all right so we don't need this face okay those face are not needed so delete those face rotate uh y 90 degree yep y turn 90 degree okay the, this is top view now so if you go on top view it should be very easy for you to see okay so let's zoom it scale y uh, scale it again just a little bit uh, scale it to the x and should turn something like that move your mouse around to make them longer okay if you want to use mirror then use the mirror it's up to you right just like that uh, you know what i'm gonna go here all right so i'm gonna go to random so i know this is a different object this is a different object okay let me turn the cavity on Mm hmm that doesn't do much but yeah should do something okay but oh but this one shade smooth don't worry you don't have to uh go to the normal and press auto smooth because there is no face there is no uh face at the end of it okay so just leave it like that and i'm gonna maybe move that a little bit now instead of shift d y shift d to the y instead of doing that we're gonna use the mirror okay select the object go to here the modifier add a modifier and search for the mirror and there it is okay so make sure you know where the x is if it's on the x i don't know let's just go to y oh what is it did I mirror it in the right way? Where is it actually? Uh, now I'm the one, I'm the one who confused. Oh, my apologies. I'm sorry. It's not a mirror, okay? It's not a mirror. I supposed to use the array, not the mirror. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what happened if you. Uh, overexcited or something and you well you don't know what else you're doing something wrong okay so make sure the factor is on the y okay if you go into the x that's the x it will go over there if it's on the y it go over there if you want to reset it go to the up okay so one uh, okay but we're gonna go with negative one now because i want it to be in front oh where is it there we go. Oh, press seven. Oh, press seven. Top view should be easy for you. Just click on that thing. Oh, you can just just press for there. Three. Oh my god, wrong again. Negative three. There we do. I think I'm gonna need a little bit bigger. Oh, not that one. This one. The negative. Little bit bigger. That will do. Add another one. Hmm, no, not bad, not bad. I think I'm going with three only, because that's kind of look okay. All right, so that's all you need for the for this. Okay, once you're satisfied with all of these, apply all those modifier. Okay, okay, you're satisfied with this. Apply the mirror, and this one, apply the mirror. Okay, because we only need three only anyway. All right, so first I'm going to set this origin first. So the geometry, so one, two, three, we, we need this, the origin to go to the middle. And this one, uh, it's already on the middle anyway. So now let's go to shading. All right, there we go. So press new. All right, base color. Or uh, what color is this? Ah, for that one. Don't worry, we're going to join this two anyway. Let's go to here. I mean, select this one, okay? And these two should be, I mean, sharing colors, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna up the metal because it's a metal. To the one. Increase the roughness. Making it a little bit shine. See? You need something like, mm, what we found in a hotel, something like that. They're all very shiny. Or any metal shop, okay? So just like that. 
Okay, now let's go to here. We're, we're done. We're done coloring anyway. So no need to do anything else. If you want to add any roughness, the uh, bump, it's up to you. But I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, now I'm going to play out because we're done anyway. Shift A to add. Okay, so I'm going to make wall, rotate, uh, X 90 degree scale. How big it is, up to you how you want. That's way too big. Okay, press yeah now bring this to the Y. All right, you don't have to be super precise as long as the eyes. Well, we don't see any. Uh, I don't know what they call E to the Y. So edit mode E Y. There we go. Select all M by distance. This is why I do that. Press M because. Who knows, we might have doubled the object and we need to get rid of some of the extra vertices, okay? I mean, edges also, let's go. Okay, now we're done, we'll go to here. Viewport shading, this is on EV, but I really like using cycle, because that's a, so, that's a real life, okay? Shift A to add a light, any light you want. If you want to use point, then use point, sun, spot, or area. Let's use the sun. G to rotate to the X. And there we go. Look at that. Perfect illusion. Thought that it was a stair, but definitely just a shadow. Alright, so I'm gonna increase the I think it's the angle. Why increase the angle? To uh make the shadow less harsh, make it soft. All right, so let's make them a little bit brighter, I think. Maybe five. I hope it's not too bright. Yeah, it's way too bright. Three would do. G to the Y. Rotate to the X. Oh my God, what did I rotate to the X? All right, so... There it is, guys. I think it's way too shiny. It's because of the roughness. We can adjust that. There we go. Select those, I think. And go to here. Right? So, we don't want it to look like that. Maybe some of you like, but not for me. Up the roughness. Alright. Beyond metal. Yes, yeah, it's, it's metal. There we go. You select those. So adjust this until it got something that you're liking. Okay. So I think this looks this looks good. This looks good. Uh point three point point three four five. Right? So yeah. I hope this video is not too long for you all. And yeah, I'm 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 confused at a little bit before. So yeah. Go ahead, try it yourself, make the simple stuff, and get good at Blender every day. Make an object, okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Next week, maybe-ish. Okay, bye-bye now.